I'm going to show you how to make an epic interactive slideshow using Google Slides. Let's go. So let's have a look at an example of one that I've made. So which Star Wars character are you? Have you ever done one of those quizzes in a magazine or online where you do a personality quiz and it tells you what sort of character you are from a film or a book or something like that? Well, this is like that. So it's interactive and it's in Google Slides, see? So we click on the start button and are you male, female or neither? Well, let's pick male because that's me. Are you a spiritual person? I'm going to say yes. Do you whinge a lot? No. Would you live in a swamp? No. Do you like to wear black? Mm, yes. Do you like sand? Who cares about sand? Uh, I hate sand. Are you a Darth Vader? Awesome. Play again? Yes. Alright, back to the start. Let's go female. Are you a civil rights activist? Hmm, no. Preferred career path, singer, dancer, soldier, farmer. Hmm, let's go singer. You are Cy Snootles. Fantastic. Uh, yes. Okay, so you get the idea. Now, how do we make this? Well, I'm assuming you've been following along previous sessions and you've made a flow chart like this one, and you're going to be using it to help guide your slideshow creation. How many slides are on this thing? 49 slides, that's quite a few. And as you can see, there's a lot of characters in there, a lot of questions as well. So first things first, you want to have a consistent sort of style and look to your slideshow. So make sure that you set up a font and a color scheme that you like. And when you make your buttons, make them all the same. So to make a button, we go up to the shapes area. We select the shape. I'm going to use the rounded rectangle and I'm going to draw that out. Okay, so draw out a box and you'll notice here that there's this little yellow thing for changing the corner size. So make that small. You can make yours to look however you like. You could have thick lines, thin lines, no lines. That's up to you. So I'll make one that's a little bit different, see how it looks. Okay, so that looks okay. But we, I do like to have a bit of a shadow under it. Where's shadows? It'll be over here, under here. Format options. And let's go drop shadow. Can you even see it? It's very subtle. So let's just make that a little bit bigger. Blur it up a little bit more. Maybe a little less transparent. Okay. Might even make that white. So that looks like you can see the shadow better. Okay, so then if I double click on that, um, on that shape, I can write something in it. So if I was doing the same buttons as before, I could type in mail. And I want to center that text. So if I just go out of it and then click back on the button again, I can center my writing. I can make the writing bigger. And you want to make it easy to read. So maybe let's bold it. Pick a, maybe a different font. That's awful. Pick a font that is nice and clear and easy to read. I think that's the same one as before. Yes. And let's use a bright color. White would be fine as well. So there's a button. Well, it's not a button actually. It's just a shape. How do I make it a button? Well, I can right click and go link. Or I can just go up to here and go insert link there. So both are the same. And I can paste a link to a website, but I don't want to for this. I can click on here and choose which slide it goes to. Mail, so mail, if I'm mail, choosing mail, mail, then I need to go to the very next question. And if I refer back to my flowchart, the very next question is, are you a spiritual person? So I need to find that on the list. Are you a spiritual person? Apply. Make sure you click apply. And there you'll see it there. So when we play this slideshow again, It works. It takes us to the next slide. But we don't want to keep that there. So once you've created a slide that has your question on it, copy that slide and just edit or change what you need. So for example, if I want to make another question, I can just copy that slide from over here. 
just go copy or command C or control C and then under it I can just paste and there's a copy of that slide all the buttons are linked still and I can just change it so I'm going to change the uh, I'll talk to you about that in a minute let me just move that over there I'll tell you what that is in a minute I should have just copied that slide let's get rid of that one let's copy this slide instead so command C command V and let's move this thing out of the way I'll tell you about in a minute and then you need to decide what happens if that question is answered. So then we need to click on the oops, click on the edit link and get rid of that one and then choose which slide it needs to go to. So try and copy and paste your slides as much as you can. You don't want to keep creating um, multiple, you don't want to have to keep creating buttons over and over and over, it just wastes time. Okay, when you get to your character page or um, your finish page or whatever the, your end page is, you include a play again option and then you can just copy and paste that section as well. Make sure you've done your links to take you back to the first slide or take you to the last slide and then you don't have to keep adding those links every time. So do the buttons, put the links on and then copy and paste these to wherever you need them to go. If you are not playing again, it is a good idea to have it go straight to the last slide, which is thanks for playing or something like that. Try and get images that are a nice high quality. Using images, try and get images that are a nice high quality. You don't want uh, you don't want to use the thumbnails if you're using a Google image search. You don't want to use the thumbnail size ones. Make sure you get the full resolution. Oh, one thing I almost forgot to mention, this little box here that I kept saying I would come back to about. What is that about? Well, if you are playing this slideshow, and normally when you, and you can't see it all now, but it's cut off. But normally when you click on a slideshow, it would go anywhere, it would go to the next screen, the very next one. That is not what you want to happen here because you want to click on a button instead to do something else. Now if you accidentally click next to the button or not quite on the button, then it's going to go to the next slide and that's going to be difficult. So what I've put in here Another button that's large that fills the whole screen that is clear, transparent, and is a button that links itself to the current slide. All right, I'll show you what. So when I click on it, it doesn't go anywhere because it's just linking to the original slide. And that one works. Oh, so even same with these pictures, they've all got a big uh, a big clear button that covers the slideshow and you have to make sure though that these buttons not the text here not this text but the buttons are on the top layer and uh, everything else is on the bottom layer uh, this here now if I were to play that again you can see the outline. I left an outline on it just so that I could see it. So here is the button and here whoop, it's gone to the next slide and I didn't like that. How do you make sure that it's on the right layer as I speak about? Well, when you click on an object and you right click, you can change the order. Send it to back, send backwards, spring forwards or bring to the front. But we can't do those two because this one already is at the front. There's this one. So we want it in between the writing and the button. So what you would do with this is you would send this to the back. Uh, order, send to back. And we send those to, to the back again. So we go order, we send those to the back. So now they're going to be behind this. So that's how that works. And that's about it, I think. Just make sure you keep track of what you've done and what you haven't done. Maybe having a bit of a list would be a good idea. Make sure you can follow it. Maybe if you um, were to have a copy of your flowchart, you could then just sort of um, cross off or tick off whatever you had finished. And that's the way you could probably keep track of things. Okay, 
I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching.